Hello and welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click that big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because I promise you're gonna love it. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you don't miss a every video Wednesday. Anyway, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so what are we doing here? Okay, so I'm getting ready because I'm not gonna hold y'all for long because I got places to go, people to see, things to do. Okay, we're booked and busy, okay? But I wanted to get ready with you guys and tell you what's really been grinding my gears recently, okay? State Farm. Okay, look, I I'm not gonna go through all the details of this little story that I have to tell you, but the, the moral of the story is I'm gonna need for everyone to do their damn job. <laughs> I'm just gonna need for everyone to do their damn job. It's not, it's not that hard. It's what you signed up for, you need a paycheck, everybody do your job, and then you won't get on my nerves. That's kind of, it's a very simple formula. Okay, so I know you think you know, why is State Farm getting on your nerves? What did they do? Okay, so for those of you who do not know, it's hard to talk and do your makeup. I forgot that that was the thing. Anyways, so back in November, the 8th of 2019, someone hit my car. Today is February 5th, Wednesday, February 5th. So before I go into details, I just want you to know that someone hit my car November the 8th. I did not get my car back until Saturday, this past Saturday. So what was that, like February the 1st or whatever the heck, right? Oh, Chanel, it must have been a bad accident for it to have took it so long. No, not at all. Sorry, any damage. So why did they take so long? Oh, easy. They were dragging ass. Dragging ass for no reason. Now, I get it. It, it uh, happened right just before the holidays. People lose focus. Things take a little extra time. I get it. Blah, blah, blah. Same sob story, right? Am I okay? Yes. Is the other driver okay? Yes. Because why? The girl hit my parked car. What kind of dumb do you have to be to hit a parked car? Huh? I mean, it happens to teenagers, to the elderly. So here I am, I get off of work and I might jump around this story because really, this is just me ranting. You guys really don't care about the details. If you do, leave a comment down below. So I get off of work of doing my job. I put my all into it, honey. You know what I'm saying? I'm too, cause I do my best. But these people are already getting on my nerves, but that's a, uh, that's, you know. My job was already getting on my nerves, but that's a completely different rant for another day. We might, we may get into that another time. So, oh, also, um, if you care, we're dipping into the James Charo's mini palette. Cause you know, it's like, I'm on her payroll, like whatever. So a little mini palette. I got this for Christmas, but I've been saving it for a special occasion, but like I couldn't wait anymore. Oh, isn't she beaut? Isn't she not beaut? And then here's the, the color names. Anyways, this is not a makeup review video. This is not a review channel. I just wanted to flex. I just wanted you guys to know that we, we are using James Churros, okay? Okay, so how convenient that there's a mirror, like yay. Okay, so I'm going on thick with the concealer today, so on purpose, so mind your business. So I get off of work after doing a nice hard day of work and what do I see? A big old ugly scrape across the front of my vehicle. And I said, no, not try, try, no. The girl left some little whack note on my car. Told me, oh, sorry I hit you. I'm with State Farm. The girl put her name, first and last name, on this note. Her phone number and said that she was with State Farm. The handwriting was illegible. I could barely read her name. I could barely read her phone number. And did she give me a policy number? No, because that would have been too simple. So I could already tell that I was dealing with an idiot because first of all, how do you hit a parked car? It, and it wasn't like it was a, a tight space. It, it, it was a, it's a street where you got a parallel park on, but it still it was not a situation where if you have any type of half of a piece of a brain, you should not have hit my vehicle my vehicle that was minding its own business, waiting for me to get off of work. And then judging off the handwriting, the fact that you didn't leave me a policy number, like clearly I'm not dealing with someone with a full fry Happy Meal here. So, 
So I decided to go through my insurance company, give them the information that I had, and tell them to do your thing and have and have it done with insurance company to insurance company. I'm, gl I'm glad. I don't know why I'm doing blush now. I normally do that last, but I'm distracted. Anyways, so I wanted to go through insurance company to insurance company because I didn't feel like talking to that girl. I really didn't have anything kind to say. And I didn't feel like her giving me the runaround. I did not get a police report because it was kind of like, look, I'm already off. It, you know, I don't even know who this person is. It, it just, it wasn't that bad of a collision that I really felt like, you know. But if you're ever in an accident, no matter how big or small, I would recommend calling police, getting a police report, blah, 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 whatever. Anyway, so fast forward. So I called my insurance company and I said, hey, help me. This girl hit my vehicle, she's so dumb. And that's okay. Root, Root, okay? I'm with Root, if you've ever heard of it. Been with them for a, a few years now. They're really, really nice, really good. Highly recommend, super sweet people. Anyway, so this is not a brand deal for Root Insurance. This is us bashing State Farm. All right, so my insurance company, considering the whack information that was provided to them, had a hard time tracking this girl down. But they finally did. Uh, when they finally tracked her down, they had a hard time getting in contact with her. The girl was just like not. And I'm like, well, okay, clearly the girl wants to help. So I, you know, waited for Root to do whatever it was that they needed to do to get this girl. And the girl was just really unresponsive. And then they finally, she, the girl finally got back with my insurance company. Of course, she admitted a complete fault as she should because it was completely her fault the girl sent in a written statement the email to my insurance company admitting full fault they got her information they got whatever they needed prior to move along with the process my insurance company was very helpful through all of this and keeping me in the loop and just taking care of all the all of that they could so they moved on to the next step of reaching out to her insurance company which is state farm Dumbass people. We get in contact with State Farm. The funny thing is my insurance company warned me about State Farm at the beginning of this whole thing. And so they told me, I, we advise you to also reach out to State Farm because sometimes when us, the insurance company, reaches out to them, sometimes they act a little funny, okay? So I was like, oh, okay, yeah, absolutely, you know. So I reached out to State Farm and it was just one issue after a mother freaking other. I mean, I have never, like I said, look, I know it was right before the holidays and stuff and people were getting a little unfocused and clerical errors happen. People are in training. I get it. I'm completely understanding of everything is not going to go smoothly 100% of the time. Fine. But for three months basically it was just i had to keep calling and calling and every time i called no one knew anything and another thing that really held up the process was when just how like how my insurance company had issues contacting this girl state farm also had issues contacting this girl and i told them i was like well my insurance company has already got her statement admitting fault and, and has probably gotten all the information you need to proceed on with whatever the hell so I can get my car fixed here. Well, ma'am, we can't really do anything until we hear from our client. If we don't hear from her within a certain amount of time, then we move you over to a different department that can handle your claim without our client being involved. Okay, that's fair. I get you gotta wait for your actual policy holder to contact you because anybody could call at any time and say anybody hit their vehicle who i get it but how long do i have to wait here and why aren't you people calling me to update me and and they're like well you could check the status of your claim on my website never worked i got different logins and 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 none of them ever worked and then if it did work it would say error or nothing to be sent. it just was not useful so i would still end up having to call multiple times to get and to see any type of progress thought i was popular for a second i'm not i'm not i mean and it, and it was just months of this and months of oh man we don't know a lot of people didn't know and i'm like can't we figure this stuff out so 
finally, we got to a point where the claims process actually moved forward. They never did get in contact with that girl. We just ended up having to ride out the whole waiting period of however long that was, which nobody ever told me how long it was. They kept just saying, we have to wait, we have to wait. So finally, it got to a point where they could move me on, move me on to the whatever department to get the car fixed, which is all I wanted. Just wanted the car fixed, right? Okay, also this eyeshadow palette is really pigmented, but neither here nor there. So I'm like, okay, yay, at least, you know, we finally can move forward with getting the car fixed. So the lady asked me from State Farm, oh, what body shop do you prefer? Girl, what do you think this is? I don't have just some body. First of all, I don't go around getting my car beat up to have a body shop that I prefer. Like, and it wasn't like one of those, oh, do you have one that you prefer? Or it, it was like one of those, like, she asked me like, oh, what grocery store do you go to? I'm like, I don't, I don't have one. And then she was like, oh, well, would you like us to help you pick one out? Yeah. You know, I mean, normally people, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought most insurance companies have their own preferred one two or three places that they would like for people to go and then you pick from that or they tell you okay yeah you could take your car here blah 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 so of course if i'm getting the car fixed what are you gonna need you're gonna need a rental car right so she was like well you can get a rental car through hertz uh we only pay for the day charge and then you have to pay everything else excuse me what i have to do what so let me get this straight i get my heart car hit i've already waited at this point what two months and now you're telling me I have to come out of pocket? What kind of insurance does this person have here? Because I'm very confused on what the goings on is here. Well, you know, we pay, so you have to pay, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay. So me thinking that, okay, well, if the car, if the car is not that much damage, it shouldn't take that long. I just won't get the rental car and I'll just, you know, deal with life accordingly until I get the car back. So I picked the body shop. The lady helped me pick it, which she didn't even help me. She just sent me. She she was very unhelpful. I still ended up basically picking up my picking out my own body shop. So I called the. They didn't even call to set up the. Okay, so I called to set up the appointment for the body shop, and they were like, "Okay, yes, ma'am. We blah blah blah, right?" And right after I set the appointment, like three times after I set the appointment, they called back the body shop called back to set the appointment. And then they sent me text messages to set an appointment. And every time I would, I, I would call and I'm like, um, I already set up an appointment. What's going on? Oh, sorry, ma'am. It's just a glitch in the system. Okay, so what happened was I did as the State Farm lady told me to do, which was to call the company, call the body shop and make an appointment for myself. I did that. But right after I did that, State Farm reached out to them and set up an appointment for me, told them to call me to set up the appointment, if that makes sense. So I'm like, okay, why would they tell me to run? You, you get what I'm saying. It was just a very bad communication error. And not so much on the body shop, but on them. So, and then the reason why the body shop called back a third time is because Initially, I guess when State Farm called, they didn't send my claim information over. So they called and said, hey, someone's going to be calling. Call, here's her phone number. And then they sent the claim information, which made it seem like I was a different person yet again. So they called and were like, oh, we got your blah, blah, blah. So anyways, they figured out it was all me. It was all the same person. And we went from there. I didn't feel like paying for a rental car especially if it wasn't gonna be that long at least it's what i was thinking so i go to drop the car off and the guy looks at the car and, and look and these people were great it was service king they did great work but i don't know they were kind of off too so i you know he looks at the car blah 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 and at the end of it all he was like do you have any questions and i'm like yeah i have the most obvious of questions what's car going to be done what's car going to be done so he was like, oh, um, well, like a week to a week and a half. 
I could have buffed out and painted the car myself. I was like a week to week and a half. So when I realized that, I was like, okay, yeah, I probably am going to go ahead and have to get that rental car. And the State Farm had already, supposedly, allegedly, had already sent a reservation for a rental car for me to this Hertz. I go to Hertz because now, okay, I need the car. So I'm just gonna have to pay for whatever I gotta pay for. Cause I can't go that long without a vehicle. Like that, like that can't, like it's not gonna be realistic. So I show up to Hertz. And do you think it was an easy one, two, three transaction? Hell no. It was a whole other situation. So I go in to pick up the car. Mind you, it took like an hour. Why would it take that long, you say? I don't know. Once again, people not doing their job. So State Farm claimed that they send over a reservation for me to let them know that I'm coming to pick the car up. Well, the lady was like, oh, I don't see the reservation. I have to get in contact with State Farm. And I'm like thinking, well, good luck, ma'am, because it's been a constant circus of me trying to get in contact with these people. We're waiting, we're waiting. That poor lady is on hold. She's trying to help other people. I mean, it was it was a mess. So I tweeted out just out of frustration, not really looking for any kind of end result here. I tweeted out that State Farm is a joke because they were. I wasn't lying. I wasn't being a Karen. I was kind of being a Karen, but rightfully so, I deserved to be to get to be a Karen that day. Five minutes later, after I tweeted out complaining about State Farm, State Farm tweets me back. Oh, we're so sorry. Okay, I gotta be honest, it kind of felt like I had a little bit of clout. Uh, I don't know what but anyways, that, that's not important. So they, they tweeted out, oh, we're so sorry, blah, blah, blah. So they reached out to me. They got the reservation sent over right away so I could get my rental car. And, and, and rewind back, when I called the Hertz to see exactly how much all of this was going to cost, they were like, oh, it, you just pay a flat rate of $50. Huh? I was like... So there's nothing else because my mind you, I was like, okay, somebody lying. Because remember I said the state farm lady was like, you have to pay for everything, all the other charges. And I'm like, where are all these other charges? And it's been a while since I've rented a car. So I was like, you know, I'm not, so I'm thinking, I was like, I don't know how much is deposited and everything else is good. I don't know. I know it'll be, a, it wouldn't be that much more expensive. it will be cheaper because I'm, I'm over 25. <laughs> but no, I, I, you know, I didn't know. So I just wanted to call to get an idea of what I was looking at here. He was like, oh, it's just $50. I was like, so either this man don't know how to do his job or State Farm then gave me some bogus information is what has happened here. I go and I get the rental car. Hertz randomly charged me $200 on a Saturday. So I call her, I'm like, um, hey, said it was gonna be $50 with this $200 charge. Oh, well, it shows here that, but uh, no, 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 no. State Farm is supposed to be paying for it. So apparently what happened was they were trying to say I signed up for some extra coverage or something. I'm like, no, no, no. I did. But. My insurance covered that. So I had to send in the declaration page and everything. And I did send it into Hertz. Hertz sent it to State Farm so they could pay the difference of, I don't know. It's all very complicated, but whatever paperwork it was that I was, I sent it in and they were supposed to send it to State Farm so they could sign off on something or whatever. State Farm never signed off on whatever they were supposed to do and they never sent back whatever they were supposed to send back. So therefore, I got the charge. So the lady I heard was like, oh, well, let me send it to them again. And they were like, well, I heard said that they never got it. So can you send it to me again so I can resend it? It wasn't Hertz. It was State Farm. And I just... I'm like, what are you people doing over there? What are you people doing? Because it's you're not doing your job. I ended up getting my money back. And they ended up paying for everything concerning the, the uh, rental car. And the people who are actually working on the vehicle ended up taking longer than a week and a half to fix it. But I think what it was, State Farm never paid them. And I think that they were kind of dragging ass. For one, they were probably dragging ass because, like I said, the damages on my car weren't that bad. So they were probably working on bigger jobs and putting them ahead of me, which I get it. You know, that's business is, you know, whatever. So finally, so I called the car people because they had it where you could check your status online or whatever. And I checked the stat that on the, on, on the Service King site, 
when you check the status of your car, you can see uh, what stage your car is in. And then it, underneath of it has an availability date of when you can come pick the car up. Pickup time was saying unavailable, but the status of the car was saying delivered. I don't think, oh my lord, then they took, took my car somewhere. Then they took it somewhere. So I didn't know what this status meant. I didn't know. So I was like, well, I'll give them a call in the morning. So I gave, cause when I seen that it was the night they were closed. I called and I was like, hey, don't know what this status means. Y'all about done. The girl took all of five minutes and says, Oh yeah, it looks like it's ready. So, when were you gonna call? Well, it looks like he just changed it last night. Mind you, when I finally talked to these people the next day, this was already almost 11 o'clock. So y'all have been open for hours. So even if he had just updated it the night before, why was I not a first thing to do? in the morning to call and tell me to come pick up the car. And I'm thinking because they were probably waiting on the money from State Farm. I drop off the car, it hurts. I make sure I'm not being charged and I wasn't. So at least that was a smooth situation. So I pick the car up and the man goes, Do you have the check? Huh? I said, no. I said, no, I don't have a check. I said, uh, the last thing I got from State Farm was some email saying they received something from you guys. And he was like, oh, okay, well, I was just asking because sometimes blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, no, I was like, well, I was informed that they were gonna pay you directly. I'm thinking they were probably holding on to my car to see, probably waiting for their money. Good luck to them because Hertz had a hell of a time dealing with them. I had a hell of a time. I hope those people finally get their money. Hey, as long as it's not coming out of my pocket, it's probably not my problem anymore. But no, those people were great. They were really nice. I said I wasn't gonna tell the whole story, but people really need to just do, do your job. Whatever your job is, just do it. If it's flipping burgers, flip the damn burger. If it's washing cars, if you're a lawyer, if you work in the medical, for whatever you do, just do your job because you will, you want people to do their job when they're taking care of your business. You know, it's it, it could have been a whole lot worse so I really wasn't tripping. I did miss my car. I hated that I didn't have my car for, for that long. I missed my car. My car, I named it Troy Troy. We are very close. Oh, and then, and let me add this part. So, of course, you know, I spent a lot of time playing phone tag with, with State Farm and waiting on emails and, and, and hounding them, you know, to get anything done. Oh, and, and to go back, sorry, I know I'm jumping around, but before I got the claim done, the last time that I finally called them before the claim got done, I called them like, hey, you know, I just want to know where are we in the process. And they were like, oh, it looks like you can go ahead and we can get your car fixed. I'm thinking it was the same thing with the uh, service can. I'm thinking, okay, well, when were you going to call? If I had never called, you, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's just unnecessary stuff. So then in the midst of all of this, something else funny that happened was I got a call from State Farm, but it wasn't from claims. It was just like a one of those like advertisement calls where they try to get you to sign up for the car insurance and they left a message on my phone. So of course I hear a message saying it's from State Farm. You know, I'm gonna call cause I'm thinking they're talking about my claim. So I called back and then the lady was like, oh, we just wanna see if we could give you a quote for insurance. And I said, oh no, honey. I said, only call back cause I thought you were the claims department. And uh, she was like, well, what insurance are you with? Are you interested in switching down when I told that lady straight up, I said, sweetie, I said, I'm going to be so honest with you. Uh, the experience that I've been having since November with State Farm and the claims department, I said, I don't know if it's just this region over here. I don't know if it's just the, the department that I'm dealing with. I said, but it's enough to make me say, I no, I do not ever want to do business with you people. I didn't word it like that, but it, basically that's the gist of, of what I said. And she was like, oh, well, do you have the claims number? And I'm thinking, I'm like, Yes, she was. She was like, "Well, I can give you the, I can give you the number so you can get your problems." So I'm thinking, lady, do you really think I'm just sitting over here twiddling my thumbs, not calling people to try to get something fixed? Like, what do you, like, what do you mean? Like, of course I have the number, and I'm thinking, wow, so y'all are just that stupid all the way around. They need to be retrained. I'm not calling the actual people stupid, but they need to be retrained. They really need to be retrained. There needs to be some kind of something because th there's no way that you people should be this discombobulated. There's just no reason for it. Zero reason over something that you, that's, that's all you people should be doing. 
do your job. Nobody mentioned State Farm to me, but I have my car back and Troy Troy is doing better than ever. You know, more of the story is do your job and don't hit parked cars. Anyways, I think that's the look all complete. I could keep going on and on a rant about State Farm. <gasps> Anyways, thank you guys for sitting with me and watch me do a little basic makeup look. Anyways, um, if you had any uh, experiences with whacked out customer service, please leave it down in the comment section below. I would love to chit chat with you about it. If you want to go on a further rant, come find me on Twitter and let me know. If you want to defend State Farm, at me. Let's go. Let's go. You know, I'm just kidding. Anyways, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because... It's just the right thing to do. Don't forget to click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video, every time we upload a brand new video. Anyways, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Woo! And that makes it no sense, so let me start over. Do y'all see this little whatever the hell? Y'all see that little gray cast? I, don't, I think it's from the lights because I don't really see it in my mirror. Hmm. Interesting.